You're in the middle of the ocean, sinking. As your vessel slips beneath the waves, your only hope is that your life raft will do its job and appear at the surface. You're completely reliant on its HRU. A HRU is a hydrostatic release unit, and its correct rigging and operation can literally be the difference between life and death. Life rafts are stored on open decks so that they can be easily accessed. They need to be secured, but at the same time they need to be free to float should the vessel sink. Hydrostatic release units are your solution. They automatically cut your life raft free and trigger its inflation in the event that you're unable to launch it yourself. Even if you've already successfully abandoned ship into another raft, the remaining release units will release all your remaining life rafts, dramatically increasing your resources available for survival. Let's take this diagram apart to see how it works and how to correctly rig it. There is the main strap that runs over the top. On the end of the strap is a Sennhouse slip. These are used as they allow quick manual release if you're launching it yourself. If the Sennhouse slip was secured straight to the deck, the raft would never float free on its own. So instead we fit the hydrostatic release in between. On this unit, we attach it to the yellow section. This is critical as it's been specifically designed with less friction for when the HRU operates. The other end of the hydrostatic release is fixed straight to the deck. This end does not need to come free, so we can use a shackle here. The final part is this red section. This is the weak link. We must attach the painter to this part. The weak link is specifically designed to pull the painter tight enough to inflate the raft, but crucially, it's weak enough to break before pulling the raft down with the vessel. Overall, we've got the main securing strap attached to the low friction reinforcement, the hydrostatic release unit, which cuts the raft free, the weak link to which the painter is attached, and then finally the whole unit is secured to the deck through its securing point. So what happens when we sink? Let's take a look inside the HRU and see. Inside we have a sealed chamber with a flexible diaphragm. If the unit submerges, the water exerts pressure all around. This compresses the diaphragm, drawing the securing pin up clear of the blade. You can see that it requires pressure from water it will not operate just from splashing. You should never need extra lashings in heavy weather. At the designated depth, the blade is completely free and is fired towards the line by a spring. This slices the line, effectively removing it. With the line completely free, the low friction reinforcement separates from the Sennhouse slip. The entire securing strap is then completely free, so the raft floats upwards. As the raft continues up, the painter is pulled tight this is enough to trigger the inflation of the raft. As the raft inflates, the increased buoyancy applies ever more force to the painter until eventually the weak link breaks. As your vessel slips beneath the surface, a correctly fitted hydrostatic release unit will automatically launch every one of your life rafts. It's always worth checking they're correct. It's shocking how many cases still happen where rafts have not launched due to being incorrectly secured.